Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a very long Jew travel vlog. Like, three months late, but <laughs> who's counting, right? Anyways, my trip to La Union was very unforgettable since it was, it was my first time traveling without my parents. Our trip to La Union was very spontaneous where the discussion of going was during a one drunken barcada session so obviously a lot did not make it but that was already a given because like any typical barcada trips there would always be a bumpy turn somewhere. If you're planning to travel to La Union it's really not that far away it's a 6 hours bus ride from Parta Station Cubao to Bawang La Union, costing for at least 400 pesos in a air-conditioned reserve seating bus ride. Fancy nung bus ride na and tingna may USB charger. This mayroon pang seat. Basta yung airrest mo yung ano. So ito yung bar. Pang cool niya. So I love it. Worth it. Worth it. One problem that we encounter was the weather. It was reported that it was heavily raining at La Union. Yung tipong knee high na yung flood. We saw the report exactly the same morning that we were supposed to be leaving. So, we did plan on cancelling. But since we've already spent money with the tickets and we gave a bit of effort of finding a ticket since it was really a hard time since it was already everywhere is already fully booked since it was a long weekend so that has been our motivation to still continue on going to La Union and I have to say guys it was really worth it After a 6 hours bus ride with one stopover and love alarm playing on my phone, my tita who lives there kindly lent us a room to stay in for the weekend. We didn't want to waste the day so right after having dinner at their house, we quickly washed up and changed into our party clothes and went straight to San Juan. San Juan La Union is actually the nightlife over there. When we reached San Juan, which was one of the main destination places in La Union, as I mentioned, the streets are buzzing and all the stores are open. Restaurants, bars, no rain is stopping anyone over there. Our first destination, our first stop, was Flotsam Jetsam, where we actually was a little bit early since the dance party actually starts at around 10 p.m. but nevertheless we managed to blend in socialize and even got to widen our group because everyone was just enjoying the night and so are we a little reminder before going to flotsam is that Everyone there is probably drinking, so almost everyone would be using the restroom. It actually took us at least 15 minutes to use one, so you have to be really patient. And if you're one of those guys na gusto makamura and decided to bring your own liquor, forget about it. They have an inspection just before you enter, and besides, the drinks there is really affordable, so you really, really don't need to bring your own liquor. Flotsam is a very chill place filled with humans. May it be very young or very old. They're just a bunch of people that is finding a place to have fun. And it really didn't matter if you're alone. I still bet you'll still have a good time. 
So, keep in mind, all you'll need there is a beer in hand or any drink that is your preference, some dance moves, and a cheery attitude and you're good to go. Yep, that happened. It was already too late when we decided to go home and my auntie was already asleep. We didn't want to be a burden so we tried to go back on our own but end up, ended up being lost instead. Luckily, everywhere there is a, there's a tricycle driving around so we went back to San Juan and we scavenged for a place to stay in. And having this in mind, it's it was a long weekend so everyone was surprisingly over there so all the hotels houses for rent and bed spaces was already fully booked we ended up sleeping in a motel called pegasus it was a very sketchy place at first but it's all good the important thing is that it has a bed an ac and a lock on the door and we're pretty much good to go we were really tired from flotsam and we just really want to sleep so that was our first night in La Union and for the next day after my aunt rescued us from that very sketchy place we got to eat breakfast at home and sleep in a more relaxing bed we were not in a rush since we weren't able to sleep comfortably last night and so we chilled at the house first at least for at least a few hours and we, we then left the house at around 10 a.m my aunt's brother who drove us to the beachside where we started exploring more of La Union. We also then hired a tricycle driver for 500 pesos each and he took us to six different tourist destinations. Our first stop, which is the man-made forest, was a breathtaking view. It was said to resemble a man-made forest in Bohol, but I haven't seen it personally. So we had a good time there and we took a lot of photos like this one. <laughs> Next destination was the Balwerte Watchtower, which was said to be a 400-year-old restored Spanish-era fortress used as a watchpoint for potential pirate attacks and other dangers from the sea. When you get there, a mob of kids would volunteer to take your photo and you'll just have to give them a few coins as a thank you. But you know, you could also say no. Next was the art gallery which was hidden under the shaded trees. There is an environmental fee of 10 pesos as you walk in, but that's all worth it since you'll be amazed of how many art pieces you'll see in there. You have to take your time to check out the artsy coral wall decorations, the wood sculptures, the wall murals, oh, and what I showed you first as you enter, there would be this, this life-sized stone art installation that was pretty cool as well. Another thing that I appreciate with this place is the is its artistic ability to use pebbles and wood as the main art pieces and it was also sending a message about how to take care of the sea using their sculptures.
We didn't really took a lot of photos at the Pebble Beach. We just sat down and just appreciate the relaxing sound of the waves hitting the pebbles. The Noble Tower Resort is owned and operated by a man called Cesar Noble, who was said to be an outstanding army recruiter. His awards of appreciations are on display at the Noble Tower. The architecture was built to resemble a fortress. It's big and tall, made of stone and cement. If you're curious about the room, I saw this comment and it says that the, play the rooms are dark, the beds are firm and but good. But the pillows are terrible. The bathroom is basic at best. Scattered around the resort are large sized figures of popular cartoon characters. There's Goku, Minions, Pikachu, Hulk, Spider Man, and a few more. But that's all I can name for now. The atmosphere in this place is very unique. It also has a breathtaking view and with the mix of the animated sculptures, it makes you feel like you're in a whole different take of the Avengers Endgame, having different characters protect your castle. The experience was amazing and I really enjoyed seeing the place. Our last stop was the Imuki Island, an amazing place yet again. Upon entering the beach, a guy will offer you to rent a balsa with a tour guide for 250 pesos. He will take you to three different lagoons and this stony part where you could take amazing photos at. Maglakad-lakad here, pero pwede it naman yung mga photo shoots na makukuha niya. <laughs> Sabi ang ganda ng view. So, really recommend for you guys to try this one. Diba, Chal? to the bus station and yeah so far yung trip namin sa La Union it's been fun and I really love I really enjoyed staying here so yeah see you guys back in Manila bye I got this I know we're in din si Chal I really like it 
Ang cute niya. Ang pagkakagawa. Ito yung souvenir namin for now. Ito yun. That's it for today. Bye guys!